Good afternoon, good evening, whichever this video finds you. Uh, but yeah, we are up super early today. Uh, we had to get up at about 3.55, 4 a.m. range. We got to go take 3,000 pounds of milk out of a farmer's tank uh, for a couple of weeks on my normal route here. And that's to give him enough room to get by. He's going to start uh, looking to get his, uh, his new tank installed, which is a little bigger, which will allow him to go to an every other day pickup, uh, which is like what pretty much a lot of farms his size have. He's just a little too much milk to hold over uh, for two days. So for instance, he, his tank might only hold 13,000 pounds. Uh, and the problem is, is that maybe he does seven a day and, or, or you know what I mean? Something like that. But whatever it is, he just doesn't have quite enough room so to fit that last bit of milk in before his truck gets there, he just can't quite fit it in. So we're gonna go alleviate a couple of thousand pounds out of his tank in the mornings, like super early. Now that in turn saves me a lot of time, you know, whatever he has in the tank uh, at this point in the morning, which is about 3,500 uh, pounds. So, and that will be plenty to get him by. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna have to do that every day until he gets his tank put in. Now, that's not every single day, it's every day we do the route, which is technically every other day. So every other day, we're gonna be going, having to get up like an hour earlier than normal, and uh, going out here and getting this stop done first thing. That way we don't cost ourselves hours on the tail end. So, yeah, it's you know, a little bit of a pain, but the guy's a nice guy. He's the brother and a, and a brother-in-law to people I already pick up today. So it's kind of like a family thing today. Uh, you know, I, I understand it as a farmer. It, you know, stuff's tough, man. And he's gonna get a new tank put in and just needs help getting by and needs somebody consistent. He was kind of, you know, having the normal guy run out and grab it and it kind of wasn't a set thing and he was kind of worried it wasn't going to get done yeah it kind of worry you know weighs on your mind a little bit so now at least i told him don't worry about it it's going to be set in stone first thing in the morning i'll be out there to take care of him so that's what we're going to do uh so i'm going to take you guys along for the ride and uh we're going to head there i'm going to put you on the head cam and we're going to do the pickup uh, here super early in the morning. So, let's go. All right. I switched it to the front dash view. So, now we're going to be, we are getting close to our uh, opening stop here, uh, which is the one I just told you about. Uh, going here to take uh, about, you know, 3,500 pounds milk out to help him out um, pretty dark out here this morning I don't know how well that's gonna come through on the uh, on the GoPro but we'll see I run a GoPro Hero 11 uh, I do have like a couple of mods and attachments I did I don't know if you, if you guys use GoPro out there but one thing I'd like to know is I have one of the road uh, external mics now I have the uh, media mod case for it so you can just plug it into the port on the media mod case but the weird thing is is that on like the super view like it is right now the view that you're looking through uh, the media mod or the uh, the road microphone you can actually see like the you know the dead cat cover the uh, wind deflector thing you can see that like poking out at the top of the screen because of the wide angle. And I'm like, how do you correct that? Like, it doesn't seem like the mounting can be drawn back. Do you just not use that uh, angle on that? I just, I don't, I don't really know. It's just a random 
thought I was kind of going through there. So this turn here can get a little snug. So we're going to get that swinger nice and wide here. Perfect. There's a two lane road that goes left and the two lane right, right here. See, that's what I'm talking about. You got people going, you gotta go, cause I, see, this is what I'm saying. And I can't go any tighter on the the, the, the turn there because my, my tires would be like running in that rock cliff there. I've had, I've come really close to that before, almost like smashed my rim on a rock. Definitely don't want to be busting up equipment. So, you know, I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm nice about it. I'm not yelling at anybody, but, you know, kind of make them nudge over a little bit. I'm sure they get a little nervous, but it's just the way it is. I'm going to try to be a little quiet here as we creep in. And then I'll, uh, I'll slap you guys on the old head cam and uh, we'll get this thing unloaded. Yeah, I try to be a little quiet because I'm sure the uh, the family's sleeping. Uh, I know the farmer, he gets up to milk around this time, but I just try not to be in here. Like, oh, didn't mean to grind that so bad. Sample tubes, let's go. I should have put the rear lights on. That would help quite a bit. All right, let's get this moving here. Let's go ahead and get our electric. into the rear and that's all good 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 need this sample all right all right 
This will be Maryland, Virginia. Just got done our agitation cycle. So we're gonna go ahead and get our measurement. which will uh, agitate. Come on. Well, maybe it just got done a cycle. Thirty-six oh three. Thirty-six oh three, and that is going in the rear. All right, now let's hook her up. And everything's all nice and clean and ready for me. Farmers had this stuff ready to give. That's what I like to see. cycle so we're gonna reach down here before it gets too low we're gonna go ahead and take our samples All right. just like so boom and just like so boom just like that no spillage no nothing set these here for a split second so we can get our stickers on them and we'll rinse off our dipper now this is just to get the residue off this isn't a clean job this is just to get the loose milk off and then we go back into the sanitizer once it's clean all right there's that so we are about 545. Let's let's see. 8, 6, 545, 38 degrees. And then this is gonna be temperature sample. 8, 6, 545, 38 degrees, TJN, temperature. And that's all you gotta do. And then this one gets a sticker, and then we'll put our samples in. And then we'll get done doing some paperwork. 
but let's get this in the, in the cooler because we don't want samples like getting warm. So sticker them, get them done, get them in the box. get the milk up the tube and then we'll shut it off. Alright. There we go. Let's see. All right. oh. Turn the water on, goober works better when it's on. Alright, that's just to clean out the porthole here. That gets the funky milk from being trapped in between there and there. And then he's off to the races. That's it. Then we're just gonna do paperwork. We're out of here. All right. Now we're just cleaning her up here, which we are gonna switch pots back to the front because our next stop is a front potter. Ugh. Whoops! Sorry, camera. I just stabbed you with that. Closes the front pot. <sighs> open the, or this closes the back pot. I'm sorry if it said front. And then this opens the front pot. That way our next two stops can go in the front pot. clipboard everything did we tighten this nope done good to go all right everybody we just got done uh our first farmer there see a little bit better yeah we just got done our first uh our first farmer he just needed the we ended up taking 3600 out or so um so that's that's all he needs just that he just needs a little bit taken out help him get over the hump you know help him get that room in his tank so that's really all it takes so now we can get to our first stop and uh, it should, we should get there about our normal time, maybe a few minutes after our normal time, but it's a lot better doing it this way. You know, just you just need to get out of bed, get moving earlier, that's it. You know, if I wanted to get out of bed at the same time, I'll be working a few more hours, so. You know, I'd rather just get my work done and have, uh, 
be able to take a nap in my own bed if I want to and, you know, get done. I just, uh, you know, if you get hung up at the dairy, you can nap in the truck. But as I, as you can see, I got a day cab. And uh, the main reason I put these storage ottomans between the seats is it actually gives you a little bit of a bridge effect. So you can drop the driver's seat down and lay across the seat. So it's actually pretty comfortable. I have a, I have a uh, pillow and blanket that's actually in uh, like a vacuum sealed bag. So when I need it or when I get stuck there, you know, hey, I have it. And it makes a difference, trust me. Uh, to have a little bit of a blanket, a little bit of comfort, uh, you know. Now, when it comes to logs for this job, we don't need them at all. And we are within the 150 air mile rule, uh, so we're really, really local. So as the crow fly, uh, as the crow flies, they say, you draw a 150 air mile circle around our uh, around where I leave from and we never I personally never leave that area so I don't think any of our drivers really leave that area to be quite honest with you so it's cool we don't have to run logs we also have uh, the weight permits because we run heavier weights than 80,000 uh, this trailer here holds about 63,000 pounds uh, the legal limit for a truck is 80 now when I'm empty with the trailer and the tractor with no milk I am about 31.5 average now you add say 60,000 onto that you got 91,500 so you can see how the weights are going to be up there way over 80 so you definitely need those permits uh, otherwise you know the normal load weights you guys definitely the truckers know uh, you know mid to high 40s usually all you're getting away with right without any kind of overweight permits because your light weights is going to be in the uh, low to mid 30s so you can't really go slamming on 50 grand on a 32,000 pound empty truck you know and it's you're gonna be overweight. So you do get a little bit of a, a tolerance for the APU, which is a, what is it, a couple hundred pounds, 250, 500, something, I don't know. So you get a little bit of excuse there, but anyway. That was the first stop. So we are on our way to our second stop, and uh, I guess we'll see you there.